let's talk assessment. Grades in this class are assigned based on online tests and quizzes. The quizzes are taking the place of homework. So let's take a look at those. There are two ways to get to these assessments in CSC Online. The first way is that they're linked to in these units. So if we click on section 1.3 and scroll down to the bottom, there's the section 1.3 assignment, and we can click on it. The other way to get to these quizzes and tests is this um, button on the left-hand toolbar. Click this, find section 1.3 here, and click it. Let's go through this. You'll see that there are no due dates. Um, I have a recommended schedule, but you can take the course at your own pace. There is no time limit. Assessments can be submitted once. I mean, that's just like homework, right? You give me homework and I grade it. it there's no multiple assessment. We press the begin assessment button, and then we just work through the problems. I mean, you'll do these pencil and paper, and then select the right answers, or what you think are the right answers. Click next, and keep going until you're done or until you're tired and need a break, or maybe there's a problem you're struggling with and you want to go back to consult your notes, that's an option. Instead of selecting a problem and clicking next, you can save your work so far, and then you can exit the assessment. And when you've taken your nap or consulted your notes or done whatever it is you needed to do, you go back to tests and quizzes and you go to return to assessment. And you see we're right back at question two. Okay, I paused the recording and clicked through to question 10 of 10. Let's see what happens when we finish an assessment. We select our final answer. We submit for grading. We verify that we really do want to submit for grading. And you will receive an email receipt for this submission. Now, back on the tests and quizzes page, you see that um, assignment we just did has vanished from up here and appeared down here. And we can click feedback. And for each of these problems, we'll see whether we got it right or got it wrong. And we'll also see feedback on what we should have done. We'll actually see basically the same feedback, whether you get the question right or wrong, in case you know, in case you uh, just guessed an answer and happen to be right, and you want to see how we arrived at that answer. So you will see feedback for all of these questions. And if you click your grade book, oof, random guessing didn't 
treat me so well, but you see this section 1.3 quiz has been imported right into your grade book.